Hello, and welcome to episode 16 of Ken Plays Crash Landing. So last time we left off, we had just got the deep tank working. Um, it wasn't working very well, and you can see I've got this working. I decided to do it off camera just in case it took me hours and hours and I didn't have to mess around. So, as you can tell, we got it up and running, and I will explain what I did. First of all, each one of these we set last time with a servo, well, I did some of them off camera, but each one set with a servo and it's whitelisted to a different metal. So every metal that could go in there is different. So each each different metal has its own uh, thing. These two are empty because we haven't got enough cobalt or ardite yet. Each one dumps into a tank. This is because Steve's factory manager won't hook up to this directly. Uh, otherwise, we wouldn't need this. So the tank is, all the tanks are sitting on inventory cable. These are also all sitting on inventory cable. And what I did was I programmed Steve's factory manager. It was fairly simple, but I've used a for each loop and I created uh, two variables like we've always done for for each loops. <clears throat> the first variable is all the tanks and then the current tank where you just don't pick anything. I was going to show you, but I have to scroll all the way down. So I picked all those tanks. Um, <clears throat> so what we've got here is our for each loop. The list is set to all the tanks, the elements, the current tank, our liquid input, and we set that to the current tank, right? So it's going to go through all those tanks. So it starts with the first one and it says, okay, input from this tank, and it's whatever, whatever's in that tank. And then the output, which is also blacklisted, is set to all of the casting tables. And then this one just pulls from the casting tables and sends uh, inside. So that one's pretty simple. So what will happen is, if we dumped a bunch of metal into one tank, it'll get to that tank, it'll try to take everything out and fill all those tables. Then it'll move to the next tank. I think if there's still enough fluid in here, it'll stay on that and keep doing it until this is empty and then move to the next one is kind of what it looked like it was doing. It doesn't matter. The point is, with this deep tank, when you put stuff in, see, bronze can't come out because we don't have anywhere for it to go. I don't even know how the bronze got in there. Um, whatever's on the bottom is the only thing that can come out. So if I put in a whole bunch of iron and then a whole bunch of gold and all the irons go in here, we have to wait for the iron to get done before the one with the gold could start taking gold. So having one casting table on each one, you're making one ingot at a time until that metal's done and then you move to the next one. This way, with all 12 of these, I can make 12 ingots at a time of, let's say, iron and blow through it real fast and then the gold will move to the bottom and then we'll start making gold. So this whole setup, oh, and I, I had to rig this up too so I can empty my smeltery whenever I want by turning this on and dumping it up there and that tank's also up there. My game's a little laggy here, I don't know if you can tell. Um, I've always experienced lag when I have a bunch of molten fluid in tanks. Now, all these tanks should be empty. There's molten aluminum in there. In the fluid duct. Why? It should be in the tank. They're identical. No, it says they're all... I don't know why it's doing that. There shouldn't be fluid in there. They should be empty. Um, okay, so... The way we've got this set up, we can sift, and we can send a lot of stuff over here at once. That thing's going to cook it up and start pouring it in the tank, and we can pour it all into ingots really fast. And just to show you, I'm going to go get a whole bunch of dust outside the wall, and then we'll test this out for real. All right, I just dumped a whole bunch of dust in here, and we should start getting some metals here. I'm just going to wait a minute and see, because I want to probably get iron first, I'm guessing. Definitely not. That electrum shouldn't even be in there, because it's not going to know what to do with that. Looks like I'm out of water as well, so I need to get some water. I really want to see this change. Um, we'll come back to that in a second. Let me stand on the water. I made one change. I went over and checked, and there was no shell in my uh, constructor. So apparently when I died, I forgot to restart it, and I thought, you know, that's really dangerous. So I moved it over here so that I see it, and I'm always in here, so I'm always going to tell if the shell needs made. So that's important. 
still hasn't sent that iron yet. There it goes. And there it just dropped into the tank, I think. Well, that's probably the bronze. Let's see if we can see it. There it went, if you're watching the tank. I don't even know that I saw it come out. Oh, you know why? Because that stuff's on the bottom. We need to get that um, bronze out of there. Five ingots. Let us... How can I get that out of there? Let me... Um, give me a minute here. Okay, we're just going to do it this way. I thought about doing it a different way, but this will just be as easy. Um, so that one had never been programmed. So what we'll do... And of course this is going to kill my Steve's program for this. So that's a bummer. And we know the bronze is going to be on the bottom, and I believe there's five ingots. So if I pull these five out, this thing should go back to working properly. And again, I don't even know how that got in there. I must have, at some point, when I was throwing stuff in, thrown in some bronze that I made. Okay, so this should be the last one. Yep, there it goes. I can't even get over here in time to see it, probably. Yeah, and they all disappeared. i got to put this back. And I need a tank, and I need a servo, and I need fluid duct. And these weren't programmed, so that doesn't matter. The only thing I lost is that tank isn't a part of it. Um, we're not getting cobalt, cobalt and ardite because those come from either gravel or sand, I don't remember. Where did I get this? cast from right here. Okay. Um, so we're not getting those yet, and I've talked before about how I want to get this set up with multiple sieves. That's why that thing is so big, and the tank is so big, and we're set up for so much production, because I can have a ton of stuff coming in it at once and just flying right through. That brings us to another issue. We are starting to fill up now. I think the arrows are full, and the bones are full. I can see for sure if we check in here. Yeah, and I've been manually throwing these bows away. I've been keeping the stuff that has um, enchantments on it, because I wasn't sure if I needed that. So we need to do some barrel upgrades. I think now is a very good time. And barrel upgrades take a lot of wood, and that's okay, because we have a whole lot of wood. So give me a minute here. Uh, I'm going to eat, and uh, I need to put a few things away. So give me just a sec. Okay, so the first thing we have to do, there's going to be a number here. Right now there's nothing. That's because we have no upgrade slots. So even if I made an upgrade, there's no slot to put it in. So the first thing we've got to do is make some upgrade slots. This one provides us one slot. This one provides us three, and they stack. So what we need to do... I'm just going to get a, quite a lot of wood here. Quite a lot of sticks. Bunch of fence. Should be able to make a bunch of those. Make a bunch of these. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, I need more fence. Okay. 20. How many does it take? No, I need more than that. I think I still need... No? Okay. 10 of those. And gold. I need more fence. Lots of fence. That's okay. We have lots of wood. Okay. Whenever I make these, because it's kind of time-consuming to make a lot of these upgrades, so whenever I make them, I just make a bunch. So we know we need arrows. What do I got to shift-click? Shift-click. Okay, so now you can see we've got seven upgrade slots. And we need gunpowder. And we need bone. I'm not sure if anybody else is as close... That one's going to be. Anybody else? Yeah, let's do this one. We could do cobble. Eh, there's no reason to, though, honestly. If 4,000 cobble's not enough, then it makes more pretty quick. Okay, so let's stop there now. So then the next thing we need to do is make the actual upgrade now that we've got slots. And 
let's see, there's, that's the one, so that's one, you can see it takes barrels and pistons, and this is a three, which would be a total of four, and we have seven, so I don't think we can use two threes, we definitely can't get to the nine, and the next structure upgrade was diamonds, so I don't have any diamonds, so let me, I need to make a whole bunch of pistons and a bunch more uh, barrels, so let me do that real quick. Okay, I got a whole bunch of stuff here. I didn't take the time to count it to see what we've got. Um, oh, I haven't actually made the barrels. I made the chests, and I made the slabs. There we go. Now we'll make, there we go. Okay, so 17 of those. I guess they only stack to 16. Three of those make that. Make some threes. Now, like I said, I believe you can't use two. Oh, you can. Okay. So you can see we can hold 28,000 items in there now. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so I don't want... I could add the one, right? I'm not going to. Oh, we need one more. So we upgraded you... And you, and let's just give you one for the time being. That should empty out the chest. We're still short some. Yeah, there you go. Okay, let me uh, craft up some more of these. All right, this should be the last set I need. I've got six, 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 and six, and it's just this one. Okay, so each one of them also has one slot available. I could put that in, it's going to bump it up a little bit, or we save that slot for an upgrade later. Um, the other thing, you know, maybe the string is going to get there. Um, the oak saplings might if we keep running the farm. You can see I just used quite a bit of wood, so we should turn the farm back on. And the way I've been shutting the farm off, I just put a lever on top of the planter, so it stops planting and you can see I fill cobble in where I, I don't want it to hold that many saplings. So when I turn that on, it plants, and of course they automatically grow, and this thing automatically cuts it down. If you shut this off, you end up with this giant mass of trees. So it's better to just shut off the planter, and then slowly this thing will keep chopping them down until there's no saplings left. So we'll let that go for just a bit. <clears throat> as long as shear leaves is off, I think we'll be okay, because I think I'm still... Yeah, I'm still pretty slammed on leaves. And as you can see here, this is still doing good. So we're in pretty good shape now. I think we are, anyway. Um, let's go check the trees. Usually one grows pretty fast when there's that many. Yep, see that? I've already got one. Pretty awesome. Let's go look and see here. 1792... And 1791. Oh, we're still making charcoal. Yeah, we're still making charcoal. So that's a good thing. We'll let that run. <clears throat> now then, I think we've got the high oven and the deep tank. That's pretty much done. I mean, that's pretty much where I want it um, all. And I think we're <clears throat> pretty much done with that. In order to do this, we need a whole bunch more machines which is going to take a lot more <clears throat> of the MFR stuff, and we're going to need a lot more power, and I actually don't have enough power to run all those machines. So that's going to have to wait a little bit. Why don't we check our quest book here? I definitely need to empty my inventory out. We could have started that for sure. We know we need to do this still, yep. That one's the nuclear reactor. We're not getting to that. A couple more machines. And those are definitely going to take machines. So I guess what we ought to do is probably continue with our pneumatic craft stuff. Because we're going to be needing a lot more MFR machines, and we're going to be needing a lot more power generation and all sorts of things. So let us continue with that. So give me just a minute here. I want to clean out my inventory. All right, I think I've got everything I need. Compressed iron, pressure tube. Definitely got that. Assembly laser, we got to make three of these. We need this first. I need... Three safety valves. Okay, I've only got two pressure gauges. And I need some... 
levers. I don't need that many though, do I? One, two. Because I only need one pressure gauge. And I'm out of water again. Boy. Okay, there's one. I need... Oh, does it take two? Am I not paying attention? No. I need one for each of those. Okay. So we need... I didn't make enough levers, right? Oh my. This is why I just make multiples of things instead of trying to count what I'm doing. It's just easier that way. Right, so then we should have one more. Okay, that's what I expected, is to get two of those. So then we need our third one. So we need the pressure gauge. I didn't get gold. One, two, three, four. We got a pressure gauge. Okay. And I think that was the same thing, but let's make sure. What am I missing? Oh, I didn't actually, didn't put the cannons together. Okay. And PCV Rose Red. I have some Rose Red. I found it. There you go. Luckily, I found that in the city. I found quite a few of them. And assembly laser. Okay. We also need the platform, the IO unit. Looks like some chests, maybe. Thought I had some chests. I must have used them all. Let's just make a couple. And we need... What do we need? IO unit and assembly platform. What's this? Assembly drill? Do I need that? Didn't really say. No, didn't say that. That's interesting. Okay, so I guess we need to actually put this thing together here. Lay out the machines in a square, the two IO units. Oh, I need two IO units. Is that something I have, or do I have to make that? Okay, good. Two IO units, the top left and the right. Laser at the bottom left. Platform to the right of that. Place a chest to the north. So it sounds like the IO units should be north. Should be this way. Um, kind of could build here. It would rather be on the other wall. Let's um, well, let's see what it looks like here. Um, well, then I'll put the chest in the wall. Uh, let me stop for a minute and figure out how I want to do this. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna get this laid out properly. Let's let's see here. So the controller would be here. Let's yeah, okay. Then the two, not the drill. I don't know what the drill is for. These would be here, and then the chest. Oh, I think I put this whole thing over one. I wanted the chest right there on that hole. Oh, I swear. Try to get prepared off camera and still don't know. Yep, I saw that went wrong. Okay, where were we? These two will be here. chest is going to be there. We've got the laser and the platform. So the laser... Hmm, laser goes here. And the platform. Yeah, and then just need the uh, controller back. Or 
Okay, let's go down. Break this. And we need to change the one, and I assume when they mean the wrench, I tried the crescent hammer already and it didn't work, so I assume they mean maybe this pneumatic wrench. So I think it's going to be, there you go. Okay, I'm glad that worked. And somehow I give it the program. How do I do that? Okay. And then we just got to hook up here. Stand by. Okay, pressure's building. That's good. Not all machines. What am I missing? Two IO units, top left, top right. Laser, the bottom left. Platform to the right. Controller touching any side of the square. Isn't that what I kind of did? Eh, let me pause. Well, let, let me check this again. But I'm assuming it's not going to work since it's still giving me the exclamation. Assembly drill. See, it doesn't say a drill, did it? I mean, I have one, so that's cool. Two I.O. units, laser, the platform, chest, controller. I mean, I don't care, I've got a drill. It still says that, so I don't know. Add pressure. We should be making some pressure here. Yeah, we are. We're trying to. Slowly, slowly. We might need some more of those air compressors, or maybe there's some that'll take RF, I think. Um, okay, let's just wait a second and we'll come back. Alright, I was waiting for 3.7. I think that should be... Oh, look! Okay. No problems. Did we need that drill? I don't know. I don't understand. Place an empty PCB in the chest, and it'll place it on the platform. So we don't have any empty PCBs, right? Because that's before the, uh, yeah, we've got unassembled. Um, how do we make empty PCBs? Boy, I swear. That's before the etching acid, okay. Iron and creeper plant seeds. So we'll have to set this to empty. That was compressed iron, I assume, right? Yeah, compressed iron, creeper plant. Let's make ten, right? I don't know, it's probably a bad idea. Ten of you, and ten of you, and you're set to empty, and I'm out of water. Need some more water. I'm stuck. What we can do to speed it up there is get that in there so it'll start making at least one. Now I'm guessing we're going to use so much air this might fall down and... There we go. I don't know how long it takes in there. I did... No, I didn't stand there long enough. I need to get a spare camel pack in there. I, I have one somewhere. There it is. I'm out of bottles, too. There's some kind of bug in this version. They updated one of the mods, and the glass bottles disappear now. So, that's not fun. Okay. Let's see what happens here. I'm assuming when it's done, it's going to put it back in the chest, I hope. Um, that way I can automate it with Steve's. I don't know if this tells us anything. Do we get, like, progress? No? 
Upgrades? Probably want some upgrades. Interesting. I don't know that this is any faster than the other way. Let's see what happens here. If I put an empty PCB in. We don't have any PCBs in there. Should be in the light box. Yep. Was it? No. Nope. I guess that does take a while in here, doesn't it? Yeah, because that takes a while and that takes a while. So this probably is going to be faster. It's been a while since... Oh yeah, it's already done. Yeah, that's definitely faster. Wow. Yeah. Way, way faster. Okay, so that's awesome. So I'll, uh, off camera, I'll switch it over to where if we throw empty PCBs in here, instead of getting sent to the light box and then the acid, they'll just get sent over here. Uh, so let me pause for a second and do that. Okay, I just got this up and running here. It already took... I pulled this one out of the light box. Uh, these are the empties we put in here. I just switched it over, so if I throw an empty... I could have grabbed one and actually demonstrated it. That would have been nice. So if I throw an empty in here, it should automatically pull it out, and it's going to send it over there, and then as soon as it gets an unassembled, which is the finished product, it should automatically send it back over here. Same difference, it's just instead of using these two, I'm using those, and I got rid of the code for this. So these technically don't do anything, we could tear them down, I'm just going to leave them there, because it's not hurting anything. Yeah, and you can see then, boom, now we've got 11, and we just had 10. Let me clear out some of this. Okay, let me get rid of the rest of this. Alright, I've got a um, whole bunch of stuff going in to make uh, capacitors. And then I've got stuff in my inventory here to make, well, I just, I need some more redstone, but to make the transistors. And that'll go along with all the PCBs we're making. I think this is just about done. It is done. It did not take that one that's partial. I don't know if I have to throw it in the etching acid. Well, I mean, I know I can, but I took that programming out so it doesn't come out. Um, so, whatever. Uh, so, we're going to get enough stuff, so we're going to be able to make a whole bunch of printed circuit boards, which we need for all the machines. So, let me... Uh, I was going to say something, but let me check out here. Oh, we've got a problem. No? Why is it not keeping up? Why did it stop? Why are you stopped? No, it's working. Usually it doesn't build up that bad. No, it has to be. No, it's going. Okay. Weird. Let's see how much wood we've got here. Oh yeah, look at that. So we're over 4,000 on wood. 49 on bone, 49 on gunpowder, 48 on arrows. So we're doing good. So... We've got a whole bunch of production now going, so we can make a bunch of MFR machines, and I think that's pretty much where we're headed. Like I said, I want to make a bunch of machines out here. It's really going to increase how much resources we get, and we've already, we're all set up to take all those resources, make them into ingots, send them inside. We've got barrels uh, for all the ingots, so we're all set up there. We need power, and power also takes some more stuff. So that's why this was a good point to uh, get back to pneumatic craft. We'll probably, we could just next time maybe look at a couple of the other quests here. Uh, I don't want to get into this one, but I could probably knock a couple down there out. But what we're going to do is I think we're going to go back up here and we're going to be looking at this. There's an MFR machine. Um, or I'm sorry, that was a thermal expansion machine. Here's an MFR machine. That's thermal expansion. Uh, so we'll probably start making some more machines, getting some more power going. And once we're comfortable with that, like I said, I want to get set up out here for a whole lot more resources, and then we'll start really looking at the quests. I haven't been paying that much attention to the quests because I've had certain things I want to accomplish, and we're starting to get there. I'm very excited about where we're starting to get. I figure by episode 20, we should be uh, real solid on everything that I wanted to get going. Uh, so I think it's a good point to wrap up the episode. I will see you next time.